And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why, 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win on the other side. I think the momentous, uh, most memorable thing that I can recall about that particular day was the opportunity while my uh, my two friends here were being put into the spacecraft to uh, stand alone by myself uh, out there and look at the rocket and the quietness and see the sun come up and the waves rolling in and the evidence of the millions of people uh, watching, but, but nothing specific and just so quiet realize that indeed uh, such a contrast was going to take place, all the frantic activity preparing the rocket, but it's so quiet up there for me personally, and that in a very few moments uh, we were going to be uh, departing in a, in a great roar and offer a momentous uh, event. chance of getting back safely to Earth on that flight, but only a 50-50 chance of making a successful landing on the first first attempt. There's so many unknowns in that descending from lunar orbit down to the surface that had not been demonstrated yet by testing. It's a risk-reward uh, equation, and uh, you're able to accept a level of risk so long as it's commensurate with the roar more that you will get by achieving the goal which you're after. T minus one minute, 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, the flight to land of the first men on the moon. All indications uh, coming in uh, to the control center at this time indicate we are go. One minute, 25 seconds and counting. Our status board indicates the third stage completely pressurized. 80 second mark has now been passed. We'll go on full internal power at the 50 second mark in the countdown. Guidance system goes on internal at 17 seconds, leading up to the ignition sequence at 8.9 seconds. We're approaching the 60 second mark on the Apollo 11 mission. T minus 60 seconds and counting. We pass T minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. Neil Armstrong just reported back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We passed the 50 second mark. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff. All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running, liftoff, we have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour, liftoff. 
Aircraft on Apollo 11. Tower clear. Here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting their roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on proper heading. I think certainly to go as far away as the uh, moon and look back on the Earth uh, certainly does uh, affect your perspective. Uh, and then when you see it, tiny as your thumbnail held out in front of you at arm's length, uh, that sort of gets your attention. A beautiful sight, tiny, pristine, blue and white, uh, very fragile looking object, uh, shining like a beautiful little headlight out there in the black velvet of space. It does change your perspective. It makes you think that we have to take better care of this little fragile entity, because it is fragile. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Uh, slightly less than one minute to ignition, and everything is go. Factor Apollo 11, go. Go. 
Apollo 11, this is Houston at one minute. Trajectory and guidance looks good, and the stage is good. Apollo 11. We're showing velocity 35,570 feet per second. Apollo 11, this is Houston, around uh, three and a half minutes. You're still looking good. Your predicted cutoff is right on the mountain. All right, your Apollo 11, go. We're showing velocity 35,570 feet per second. Altitude 177 nautical miles. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are go at five minutes. Factor, Apollo 11, go. Apollo 11, this is Houston. 